Well, the off-season check-in series continues, this time with another rookie face around the Crusaders' rink. That is Brett Ursulak out of Calgary. Brett, thanks for taking some time to sit down, my man. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Uh, doing as good as we can these days. <laughs> and, uh, I think uh, I don't need to tell you as a young athlete about the impact of, of how COVID took over the, uh, you know, the world of athletics and that sort of thing. But here to talk about some positive news. You have inked a deal as of April 17th to join uh, the Crusaders uh, franchise out of the Calgary Flames Midget AAA program. So let's start right there. What about the Crusaders franchise sort of drew you uh, over the last couple of seasons, as I understand it, to to want to be a prospect with this team? Um, well, first, like it was, it started off in minor midget and then like just talking to Kyle and stuff and like the way he approached me and just talked to me, like it was just, it felt like it was good. And then going to spring camp and then eventually main camp, like right off the bat after I went to main camp, I like, I, I just knew like, it just seemed like such a great organization, great place to play. Like everyone seemed just like nice and loving and just like would take care of me awesomely. And it just seems like such a, like everyone's so tight together. So I think that's what really is there anybody that you played with or against maybe in minor hockey growing up? Or do you know some of the faces from having those couple of experiences over the last couple of years that you're going to be playing with in this upcoming season? Um, actually, Bryce Bader, who is on the team, I played with him back. Like I, I used to live in Trip Park, actually, like yeah. a long time ago. And uh, I played with him for a few years growing up. So I'll be playing with him. And yeah. What, cool. uh, so how old were you when you moved down to the southern part of the province? Uh, I was 10 years old back in 2012. So you got uh, at least your start in hockey around these parts and then and then continued your career development down there. Um, and that's a pretty competitive midget circuit down there in Calgary, isn't it? Between obviously your Flames, the Buffaloes. Uh, I'm not even sure if they play in the same competition, but it seems like that's a great developmental territory. Is that fair to say? Oh, yeah, for sure. The, the rivals are insane down here. Like any of the Calgary teams, it's always a pretty big game. Um, so Kyle, Kyle Chase, the general manager of this team, the one that you mentioned, uh, it's described you as a strong, smooth skating defenseman with some offensive upside. Uh, in your words, Brad, how would you describe your game and what the Crusaders can expect? Um, honestly, I can agree with what Kyle said a lot. Like, I think I got like some good, like smooth skating, as he said, and like, obviously still trying to improve that. And like, there's always room for improvement there, but um, I think like physicality, like just getting in corners, getting in battles and like keeping strong on the puck. And I think like, and along with my shot, I think I have a pretty good shot at like, those are probably my big upsides to my game. Are you a left or right shot? I'm a left hand shot left shot so I know that uh, you know Jeff Wojtka has drawn the praise of pretty well everybody who gets to work underneath him on that decor have you heard anything about what you can expect as far as Jeff as a defensive coach or or anything along those lines as far as how he might be able to develop your uh, develop your game and you know was that part of the recruiting process for you as well I think 100% um, even like when going to camp and going through the practices that we had throughout camp and just working with Jeff, I think he'll be a really good influence and actually really help my game change a lot. So it should be very good for my development. Is it more of a draw knowing that you've got uh, Adam Mana, a fantastic coach, you know, he was, was uh, nominated for coach of the year this most recent season. And just obviously you're, no, you're not uh, naive to what the team has been able to accomplish over the last couple of years. So, um, you know, being sort of on the periphery of the organization, biding your time a little bit and now having a chance to step in as this organization has really taken off over the last couple of seasons, that's got to be a big part of the reason why you, uh, you know, felt like maybe this was a good landing spot for you, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Like seeing the success that the teams had through the past couple of years. And then just knowing that the coaches are like top notch coaches, like probably the best in the league, like couldn't ask for a better situation to come into a team. You seem like a pretty mild mannered kid here as we chat with Brad Ursulak uh, out of the <laughs> Calgary Flames program. But you mentioned, you know, you're six two, up around 180 pounds. I imagine you're going to, you know, continue working on that physique and continue just naturally growing up as part of that. Um, do you have, can you turn that on? Can you turn that off when it comes game time? You know, you mentioned you like to clang and bang around in the corners and yet here you are, uh, uh, you know, a lot more mild mannered, I think is the best way to describe that. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think when it comes to game time, I'm just in a little bit different space, like just trying to get the job done in game time. But, you know, when, 
when it's just normal and a little bit different, like more relaxed and stuff. But yeah, I think I, I can definitely throw the body around and stuff and do what I got to do to get the job done. <laughs> what is the routine? What does the hype up routine look like? Is there a playlist you've got on? Is there, you know, does it start with the breakfast in the morning? How does that look on a game day for you? Um, I don't really have like a set set routine. I just like to like on a game. Yeah. I just like wake up at a good time, get active, like just try not to sit around that much throughout the day. Like even if it's just walking around or like doing that, like just staying active. And then usually I like to have some eggs and toast before the game with a little bit of yogurt. That's usually my pregame meal there. And then when I get to the rink, it's just kind of get in the zone. Like I don't really have a playlist or anything, but usually just some upbeat music just to kind of get me going. We've had quite a few players out of this program commit to NCAA uh, schools and some bigger names as the years have gone on. And uh, obviously that's got to be a big part of the appeal for you in choosing the, the AJHL route. Is there, um, is there a particular path you've seen that you might be interested in following? Is there a school that's piqued your interest? Uh, anything along those lines that, that you can start working towards as you, as you battle for full-time playing time here? Um, well, yeah, like, I've, like, my main goal, like, obviously coming through the AJHL and stuff, and my cousins went through it, and he's playing uh, Div 3 hockey for NCAA in the States now, and I'm just, like, my main goal is hopefully to try and, if I can, get a D1 scholarship or any offers like that, and I really think with all the, the names and the success that the crew's had in the past few years, it, like, they, I think they can really help bring me to like success in the future a lot of eyeballs on the franchise all of a sudden it seems uh, certainly more so than before um no nhl hockey for you to watch right now but uh growing up even to this point is there anybody whose game you've tried to model yourself after uh, at the pro level um, growing up i i couldn't really say now but as soon as like brent burns started kind of becoming a big thing that was definitely a guy that, like, as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, yeah, this is, like, this is a good player. And, like, I think I can really model. Like, he's a big, big guy for sure. And I'm hoping maybe I can get another inch or two just kind of like he's got. And he's got, like, the big shot, the physicality, the skating, just, like, overall big impact player. And I think to model my game after him would really help a lot. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, that's something to strive for. <laughs> Team Canada, uh, oh, you know, yeah. the folklore that is Brent Burns. Well, uh, Brett, I, I look forward to uh, watching you stamp your name on the AJHL as we move forward to camp. I'm going to leave you with this. I mean, how has training been? I know a lot of guys have uh, either they have the home gym or they're like curling milk cartons. There doesn't seem to be an in-between. So how are you staying in shape as we creep towards the potential restart here in Alberta? Um, I've got pretty lucky compared to like I've heard people like with the milk jugs and just some real weird ways of getting some weights but one of my buddies actually has a good weight rack in his house and a lot of different stuff to work out with so I usually go to his house like five times a week and then go for some runs with him as well so it's been good to have that because I couldn't imagine just doing body weight and all that stuff it could be a challenge. Yeah, well, maybe you'll uh, have the leg up by the time training camp rolls around. Brett Ursulak, welcome to the Crusaders, my friend. Thank you for taking the time today. I look forward to continuing to uh, learn more about you both on and off the ice. Thank you for having me.